Hey, my friends, Jeff here from HireTrustMarketing.com and InfoMarketerZone.com. So happy you could join me for this very quick video. This is going to be a powerful video. It's taken here. My family, we're up on a, on a dream vacation up at a, uh, a multi-million dollar property, something that I never thought we'd be able to do just a few short years ago. And a lot of this comes from the formula I'm going to give you in this video. It's a four-part formula for succeeding at anything you want to in life. It doesn't matter whether it's financial or whether it's health-wise or whether it's relationships or just the lifestyle that you're looking for. I wanted to talk about this four-step system because it's so powerful and I've, you know, it's worked for ourselves, for my family, and I know it's worked for many others that we've helped coach through our different programs around getting their business online, building a business, but also building a lifestyle and building that business around uh, the ideal lifestyle they're looking for. So let's talk about the four-step system. So the first uh, step of the system is really all about being able to have a vision, being able to suspend disbelief. That means take all of the, the beliefs you may have had, the limiting beliefs, put them off to the side for now, okay? And, and just imagine what your ideal life would look like. What is the lifestyle like? Where would you be living? Who would you be spending time with? Um, who, you know, what type of company, who would you be serving in terms of your marketplace? What would be the ideal situation that would not seem so much like work to you, would be highly rewarding? and would make all the other stuff, the fact that you do have to do a little bit of work to, to make it happen would make it all worthwhile. And so that vision, that vision needs to be huge, it needs to be giant, it needs to be bigger than you've ever thought before. And so I want you to go through that exercise. And how do you do this? Well, it is tough because most people live within this bubble. They live within a, um, a portion of their lives where it's governed by their beliefs. You, after all, how can you imagine something that's bigger if you have never seen it or if you've never even thought of yourself living that way? And so sometimes what you need to do here is expand your horizons. You need to go outside and see how other people have done it. See what other people have been able to accomplish. And you can do that through YouTube videos. You can do it through books. You can do it through studying biographies. You can do it through um, talking to people and expanding the network around you and just talking to those people that maybe you were afraid to approach before and you thought that there's no way I'm ever going to get to that level. But you need to open your mind. You need to open your mind to the new possibilities. And the only way you do that is exposure to other people and other situations that where that has been achieved. And and suddenly your whole mind explodes. I'm sure you you've, you you guys watching this now. You've that's happened to you where you've thought, okay, cool. This is some new hobby or a new interest or new passion or new way of doing business. And you've seen someone else do it, and you think, wow, now I can do it. And sure enough, you go on the path, and and it becomes one of the funnest things, the coolest things in your whole life. Well, I'm saying design your whole life that way. I mean, consciously go out and look for inspiration and motivation and and people who have have lived bigger than what you've been able to do. And that's how you can create that bigger vision, that bigger purpose. And why is that so important? Well, it's so important because you need to have uh, a laser focus on that target, but it needs to be huge enough that it's gonna motivate you, it's gonna drive you no matter what um, sort of interim setbacks or pain or, or work is required to get there. It won't seem near as bad if you know the outcome is, is so much better. Okay, so then the second thing is, now you work on the belief side of it. Okay, so now you're thinking so big that you're probably questioning your own ability to do it. You're questioning your own ability to, to actually get there. I'm just gonna flip around here. So at that point, you need to work on belief and certainty, and you need to work on the fact that you can actually achieve it as other people have. Okay, and the way you do that is you continue to work on yourself, and you see how other people have done it. You understand both the skill side of it and the mindset side of achieving anything. And once you get that, it becomes much more in your realm of possibility. And and suddenly the whole world opens up to you and with that belief and certainty, you can go out in the world and actually make a difference and make the things that you want so badly happen. Okay, so I can't stress this enough. Having a dream or a vision is only half the battle. The other half is having the belief and certainty that you can get there. And you need to work on that. You need to have 100% certainty. If you doubt yourself, if you doubt your ability, then you'll sabotage yourself. And you'll find yourself giving up too quickly. And you'll find yourself finding excuses and, and blaming everyone around you. The people who don't blame people, the people who don't have excuses and let them override, are the people that have the certainty and belief that they can do it uh, themselves. And they've built that to such a level that they have no doubt. Okay, so that's the second phase. Now the third phase is you gotta find the right vehicle. So what is it that's going to allow you to have the lifestyle and yet it's still gonna pay the bills. It's still gonna 
be financially rewarding enough for you that you can make your life this way, right? So you may want to just sit around doing nothing all the time, but in reality, that's not going to work, right? Because, <laughs> you know, let's face it, uh, that doesn't pay the bills, right? And you want your you want your family financially secure. You want your lifestyle financially secure. You don't want to have to worry about what you're going to do when you get older. Um, you want to be able to support the people around you. You want to be able to give to charity. You want to be able to give to your church. You want to be able to do all those things and give gifts to people. Um, and then have a few things for yourself and have the lifestyle that you really dream of, which is never inexpensive. Right? It doesn't have to be over the top, huge, but certainly it's going to cost some money. And the more financial security, the more you can focus on the things that you love to do in serving your marketplace. So it's important that you find the right vehicle. Now, that vehicle for most people is not a job. It could be. It could be a job that you work to the top of your career. You work your way up and then you, you retire, but that's a, a long slug. It's a very political process. Uh, and it's a process that you have very little control over. That's the worst part of it, is that any part of a job, the, the biggest issue with it is there's so many other people that can get in the way and you don't really control your rise to where you would like to be. So the ideal situation is you start your own business. Now you can start it on the side, but ideally you start it online. Um, you know, whether that's e-commerce, it could be affiliate marketing, could be publishing content. Um, what I would strongly urge you to do, and what I urge all of our consulting clients and the most successful ones have all done this, is you create your own product. You create your own advice, your own coaching, your own digital product, your own course, uh, your own seminar, uh, your own uh, video course. You know, there's, there's literally hundreds of different formats and different ways you can do this, but ideally you create that course. Why? Well, it brands you as an expert in your field. I mean, we all know that experts get the business, they get the attention, they get the publicity, and they get the profit much higher levels than other people. But it also gives you evergreen products. It comes as close to passive income as you can get because you're creating a product over a course of a few days or a week or two, and you can continue to sell that over and over again for years. I've got a course that's been on the market now for eight years, and we update it. We spend all of about a day, a year, updating it to, to uh, more recent content. But it's an evergreen product, and we just update that product once a year, and that thing continues to sell and sell and sell. It's a, it's a six-figure product for us. And um, so, you know, creating these products can take as little as two weeks, as one week, even a couple of days, and then you've got it to sell over and over again. You know, you do that times five, times six, and you've built yourself a very solid income. You can take that to the top. You can, you know, there's people in, in uh, that have taken our course that have built enterprises around this, and they, they bring other people on, and they publish those people, and they take a portion of the profit. So there's all kinds of ways to build as big as you want with a digital product business. I highly urge that you do that. Now you can fill in the blanks with all kinds of other stuff. You can create sites that create that, that publish ads. You can create um, sites that sell affiliate products. You can do all kinds of other stuff as an extension to that. But your base should be your own products, your own digital products. Okay, so that's the vehicle that I recommend. Now, number four is you gotta do the work. You gotta go out and do the action. It comes down to that. The, now, here's where you don't want to make a mistake, is I see a lot of people, they start with the vision and they want, they know what they want out of life. They want the big things, they want the big material things, but they haven't come up with a real reason why. And then they go right to the end and they start taking massive action. And they start publishing blogs and they articles and they start putting out content, and but it comes off as phony and they're not doing it for the right reasons and they don't stick to it and they bounce around. You can't miss those two other steps. You've got to have a firm belief and passion in what you're doing and what it's going to achieve. And number three, you got to find the right vehicle we talked about that's going to be right for you. Um, you've got to trust that you've got the right vehicle. It comes back to belief again. And then you've got to be comfortable in your role in that business. Now, you could be the main content developer. You could be just the one that outsources it all. Uh, you can be the marketer and then you can get you can pair up with somebody who does the content development. There's all kinds of different ways to go about uh, and, and execute on that digital product business. So in any case, you know, I, I just wanted to share this with you because I'm feeling incredibly inspired at this point in my life to be able to take my family on this kind of a vacation and stay in a place like this. I mean, it's just a massive, it's uh, close to 8,000 square feet. They've got eight bedrooms. Um, I don't know how many bathrooms, just beautiful kitchen, just beautiful place, spa, uh, all kinds of toys for the water. And, um, you, you know, I'm feeling incredibly blessed. I want to give back. That's my rule in life is to give back to you guys. And we do that through our business. And, and frankly, you should do that through your business too because giving back feels so good. It, it's the fulfillment. And, and in a way, it's selfish because humans, we need to be able to give back 
to opt to to um, operate at an optimal level. And so, if you can construct that type of business where you're giving back to your audience, where you're giving a lot more than you're receiving, then you've built an optimal life because that's going to make you feel better than anything, um, and, and even money. Right now, it's going to bring money because you're offering value. That's going to come automatically. But the fulfillment part of it is is something that maybe you're not thinking is important enough, but it's incredibly important. Let me let me uh, say that to you. Just having done multiple businesses uh, over time and, and created some where I didn't have 110% into it, wasn't doing it for the right reasons, and inevitably those didn't finish as successfully as they could have. Most of them I get out and they were successful, but not as successful as if I had stuck with it and had a, had a passion that was driving it. So I hope that's uh, that gets through to you. That four-step system is what we have built many, many millionaires uh, through our coaching programs, through our subscriptions. Um, I urge you down below, I'm going to put a link for a free course that will allow you to explore the vehicle we talked about our digital products. And it's just, it's something that you should just get up to speed on it. You should get trained on it. Uh, it's something that I think you can turn into your own type of vehicle, your own type of digital product. Like I said, there's so many different ways you can run that business. But to understand the basics, it's very powerful. I think it's powerful for any single person these days. Even if you're in a job, even if you're in a career, to be able to go out and publish your own products and to be able to rise, your, have control over your own destiny and raise your own reputation, your own brand um, to a high level is incredibly important. And then working the profit angle on that is, is well, it's very rewarding as well. So I hope this was useful today. Leave any comments, share this with anybody you can. I'm going to put it up on a couple of different social media platforms. And, um, you know, I, I just, I know you guys can do it. I know you have it within you. I know you want to do it. And so I, I really want you to get skilled and work on those two intermediate steps, which is your own belief and certainty once you've picked that big vision, that big exciting vision. And then, you know, at the same time, learn the skills, learn the vehicle that can take you there. Okay, so leave any comments, any questions below. I'll be happy to answer them. And I know you guys, I, if you've watched this, uh, I know that you can do it. And I just can't wait to hear your success story. Have a great day, guys.